Hello friends, welcome back. So in the last video we saw how to create a dynamic web project on Red Hat Code Daddy Studio and the runtime environment of the server was JVOS EAP 7.2. So in this video we will first have a look at the configuration file. What do we have in the web.xml? Open the source. Okay, so this file is really important. So as a Java developer, you must know about the entries here in this file. So you can skip the entries like this XML file version. It tells like this is the XML version and this is the encoding style. And here you have your inside your web app schema. So those things are by default and you can skip these details. Now the display name is your name of your applications. Currently it is one dash web because this was the project which we created in the last video. So here is your application name, web one web or if you want let me rename this to I'll call it application so I have this so I'll keep it as an application name and welcome list is like list of uh, pages like or your home screen pages I'll see this one so index.html dot htm jsp default dot html default dot htm default dot jsp are the my welcome page or like landing page of this application basically you can see home page of your application okay saved now what i'm going to do is let, let's go and do something first let me create one okay first let me create one i'll create one web page web enough inside web enough or in, like sorry inside the web content we are going to create a jsp page new and here jsp file if you don't see the option here what you can do is just go to other and then search for jsp you'll find your jsp file okay so i'll just click on jsp file now this is like new file so better you do what you can do so just rename it it's going to be your landing page of your application or the home page of your app your application i'm going to call it index.jsp next so nothing changed as is finished let me open one second string something like that. Okay, let me make sure that my server is running currently we stop so i'm just going to stop my server now let's talk about uh, source of your index.js file so what is there if you see Page language Java content type is this, this encoding style this one document type so it's like HTML meta tag the title goes here so basically here is your page title I'm gonna uh, call it home page or home only and the body part is here so what I will do is I simply type something here uh, h1 this is welcome to Yes, because my application, whatever you want, you can. But for now, this is what I will do with the page. So now we have one page available to us, and now I'm going to create a package here because right now there is no package. So I'll just create a package and call it com dot test. And inside the package, I'm going to create a file, not file. Here we are going to create a servlet. So we'll click on. Uh, others and then go and type so type servlet okay so you see right inside web it's, so what are we going to do we have one jsp page now we are going to have one servlet so your jsp page name is index.jsp here is going to be your servlet so i'll call it application servlet or my servlet or test servlet let, let me call this test test servlet okay go test servlet this you just make sure that you have do code do gate and post check and these are the other parameters of other methods of your uh, servlet available to the servlet Inbuilt methods basically or built in methods, but you make sure that you have checked to do post and get. 
So I'll explain to you what happens when you check on these two methods. Click on finish. So here now you can see your servlet is ready. Here is your Java class. Let me make it quick. Okay, so if you see here, this is your servlet name, test servlet, and it's extending HTTP servlet. This is your servlet constructor, nothing much to do here. And here is do get and do post method. These are the methods those we checked while creating the servlet that I want these methods in my servlet. And here is some code. So basically, this will print out your what is that response dot get writer is the method that gives basically this will write served at and uh, your context path your context root of your application on the screen or on the jsp page so let me also make it. so here basically we are using a response method right response will get right so let me do something uh, i'll make use of print writer print writer is a class in jsp servlet out equals, sorry out equals to I'll call it response dot get response dot get writer. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm creating the instance of uh, instance of print writer class, and I'll make use of this out dot print and I'm going to write something on my On my page on my JSP page. One second, yes, it's out. Drop and uh, I'll try. I'll write the normal one, the very basic one. Hello world. Control S. So do get is like getting a response from the HTTP servlet. So this contains two parameters. One is request and one is response parameter. Similarly, we have post method. There also we have same two parameters request and response so we'll talk about these servlet methods later on but for now we are okay now there's one more change we if you check our web.xml file we are supposed to have servlet entry here in the configuration file if it is not there your, your program your application won't work so what you have to do is you have to create your servlet entry here in the configuration file So what you have lose sorry. Okay. Let me create this up first. Servlet is my tag that is used to define the servlet and then you need to view. If you will hit uh, control and then your space bar this will automatically print the things for you your servlet name so my servlet name is this one test.servlet so i'll just copy from here test servlet come back here i'll paste here okay now after that what you have servlet class you need to mention the class as well so class is my package package name is com.test and dot my servlet name so the servlet name can be anything but it should point to the class so my class is com dot test servlet name can be anything but it's better to keep saying now so this is like we are done with the servlet entry in the system now we should define the servlet mapping as well the system is like Okay, so we have defined the servlet entry in the configuration file. Now we are going to create a servlet mapping. Servlet mapping says that when we are supposed to hit the servlet. So inside servlet mapping, we need to define the servlet name. Okay. 
name so name is going to be same sublet name Okay, and here I need to put the URL pattern. So URL pattern says that whenever if your request is pointing to this particular path, it should taken care by the servlet. So these entries are really really important. Let me just explain what I did here. We first created the servlet entry. We put the servlet name and servlet class, including the package. And then we mentioned the sublet mapping. So mapping says like, so this is the URL pattern. If anything is coming, if you see slash test servlet in the URL, then that should be taken care by the servlet. This one, test servlet. So this servlet means this particular class, your Java class. Okay. So let me just, yeah, one more thing because I'm using annotation here because I'm using uh, that web dynamic module, web module is 4.0, so it makes use of annotation by default. But for now, I don't want to use the annotation, that's why I created the entries manually in the web config file. Okay. I'm just going to build clean. Okay, I just build the project, select a project, build project. Okay, now I am going to create the because it's a web project, so I'll call it one dash web dot ear. Okay, the rest of the things will be as is. Click on next, select, generate the application dot XML your deployment descriptor. Yes, click on finish. Good. Now let's see. Now as we do with the common the very common way to deploy application on a server just right click on the server itself and click on add or remove a project pick the one dash web dot er file the one which is created click on add finish now you should see that okay here your one dot xml your application should be deployed here on the server and it should be in the started situation like the the state of your application should be started and it should be synced with your server. Synchronized and see here. It says one dot web started and synchronized. So we are good to go. We are good to test the application. How do we test a web application? Okay. So just let me go and pick right click on the your JSP page and click on run as run on server. So this is how do we test the application on the local server. I'm going to test the application application on Red Hat 7.2. Next, click on finish. This, this I'm testing for the first time, so it will open my IE browser for the first time. So it's taking a bit of time. Okay, so here you can see welcome to JSP page. And here is your home page of your application. Let me copy this URL. Okay, for now it's okay. And here is my context root of the application. So I'll explain about context root, about the servlet code. Like this hello word thing is not here. Right? So we need to do some changes here in the index.xml to fully utilize the servlet, the servlet code. Okay, so that will do because like we we haven't executed the do get and post method, but we'll learn in the next video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.